Hey developers, today we're going to look at seven different resources that we can use to pass those algorithmic interview questions that we all love to hate. So make sure you stay all the way to the end and find out what they are. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Eric. I am a full stack software developer with years of software development experience. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in action book. And by the way, there is a link in the description below. In it, I'll give you the first chapter of my book that was published by Manning, uh, Vue.js in action. And also you'll get this cool program with Eric cheat sheets to really get you started with Vue.js. Um, I also send information out on interview questions. So if you guys are interested in that, sign up for that mailing list. The link is in the description below. All right, so we have seven different resources here. Now, I was doing some research here and I've there's just so many different resources out there to help developers, you know, master their algorithmic algorithm problems out there that I had to kind of narrow it down to these resources. I think these will be a little different that which you normally see, but I think these are all really helpful. And to give an idea first, before we get too far, if you are preparing for a technical interview, make sure you ask the recruiter or ask the person that, ask them if they're gonna give you any of these algorithm type questions. Most people, most recruiters will tell you before you get the interview, so that way you can prepare. And the worst thing you can do is go to an interview, spend all this time preparing on these algorithm, inter algorithm interview questions and then find out that, that company doesn't use that. They don't use it, so you've wasted a bunch of your time. And many companies, this is a still a little co uh, controversial. Some people, a lot of developers, think this is a really bad way of, of finding if you're a good developer or not by asking these algorithm type questions. On the other hand, some companies think this is the perfect way of finding out you know, who can get things done and who, who, are, who are really smart. Um, usually that is some of the criteria that some companies use, um, especially if you're going with any large enterprise company, Facebook, Google, Amazon, Apple, you're going to get, you're going to get these questions. So if that is the type of company you're interviewing for, be prepared. So usually there's a few resources people always talk about when they say you need to learn about algorithm questions and you're, you're interviewing th for these type of jobs. And that's usually leak code is usually the top one of the top resources people mention. So if you don't know, if you go to leakcode.com, you can actually click sign on here. And you don't necessarily have to create an account, I would recommend it, but if you don't, you can click on problems here and you can kind of get an idea. So you have different categories, you can click on algorithms if you want, and usually they rank it between easy, medium, and hard. So and so you can click on any of these, you'll get you'll click on them, it'll give you a description, it'll take a second to load, sometimes more than a few seconds. And then you actually write the code. You can change it to Java, JavaScript, whatever you want on the right-hand side. And then you can submit it or click run code and you can see if you can get it right. Now, if you get stuck, what the cool thing is you have a solution. So you can figure out you know, basically how to do it. So what I rec would recommend is that you start with the easy questions, which you'll find out aren't so easy if you're pretty rusty on these algorithm questions and just try them out and then read the solutions. And if you're really stuck, check out the discuss tab because people will talk about the, the solutions they found and sometimes you get a little bit more hints of, of the ideas behind it. The solutions they talk about are, are pretty are pretty elaborate here. Uh, if you're completely, let's say you've never done algorithm questions at all and this all doesn't make any sense, any sense to you and you don't know what big O complexity is, you may wanna pick up a book first. There's, uh, there's quite a few here. There's the famous algorithm book everybody talks about, Cracking the Coding Interview. So those are the two that I recommend. Is One is Cracking the Coding the Interview, which you can find right here. And um, there's also this Introduction to Algorithms book. Those are also both great ways to start. I would start with Cracking the Coding Interview if you have absolutely no idea. But what you're gonna find out is one of the ways you can pass algorithm types problems and in interviews is you just got to repeat them over and over again until you get a sense when you go into the interview that you may not know or heard of that problem, but you'll see the pattern in it and you'll be like, oh, this is this is a simple sorting algorithm that I can throw in there here. Uh, maybe I got to do some kind of 
uh, tree algorithm here. So you got to look at the different types of algorithms and and you'll start seeing patterns. And what, like I said, I would first just start with leak code and just start doing the easy problems and then maybe see if you can knock out a few of the mediums and if you're really ambitious, the hards. Another great website is HackerRank. They have over 5 million developers practice coding, preparing for your interviews, getting hired. Uh, this is another website that just has tons of resources. You have to sign up um, and they actually can, depending on the company, they may even have you go to and do a hacker rank assessment. Uh, but this is a good thing to sign up for and start taking the algorithm questions and tests. I haven't done it, but I heard it's, it's great. Hacking, uh, this is a cool Facebook group. It's called the HH Coding Interview Prep. And it's just, it has over 25,000 members almost every, you know, there's dozens, I would say, you know, a handful of uh, questions that come up every day. So I would check out, check it out. And what's cool about it is if you're interviewing at Google or Facebook, just search for it and you'll see people who are asking, hey, I'm in the second, I'm in the second interview for Facebook. How should I prepare? And you'll kind of get ideas of what other people are doing. Uh, sometimes though, they, a lot of people won't necessarily tell you, they'll actually message you, but this is a great place just to talk to other people. A CS career questions is really similar. Uh, not quite as specific, but if you're looking for questions on different algorithms, like the big end discussions or different interview practices, like recruiters tell me what I, me, what I'll be asked. Is that a red flag? This is a great place to go. Um, I would just just kind of look through it, you know, look through the top posts in the last week or two. You can kind of get an idea. Use the search to find out, you know, what people have been asked in different interviews. Maybe even put your company in here. Yeah, I bet someone has asked questions on it uh, and and check it out. Another website I really like is Pramp.com. I actually uh, did a few videos with them last year, but they're a cool anonymous interviewing practice, you get on a, a basically a Skype call almost with another person and they ask you a question and you have 30 minutes, they have 30 minutes to answer it. And then they ask you a question, you have 30 minutes to answer it. And they're all algorithm type questions. So it's perfect. And they also rate you. So if you get on here and you don't show you, you get negative ratings and you don't get as many interviews a week you can do. And it kind of, it uh, definitely, I did a bunch of these. And when I did interviews a while back, this really helped because I wasn't so nervous when I got into doing an actual interview, doing a whiteboarding interview. I saw this link. I haven't looked through this thoroughly, but it has over 25,000 stars on GitHub. It's called the Tech Interview Handbook, and it's algorithm study materials, behavioral content tips. So this is really cool. So this is if you're, um, they even have a front end interview book, but it kind of gives you everything you expect. So like, let's say, how do you prepare for a coding interview? There's, uh, there's a quite a bit of information on here on like what you should do. Like here's like resume tips. I'm not even gonna get into all this. This might be a separate video to kind of to unpack all this. Like they have an interview cheat sheet, like, uh, like make sure you have your pen, paper, and earphone headphones ready. Find a quiet environment. Make sure your webcam audio working. I've actually went an interview once where my webcam wasn't working and that was not a good start introduce yourself. Um, there's also this idea of, of every interview, there's the soft interview questions where they ask you like, what's your biggest challenge and name a circumstance where you needed to overcome something. And then you should have those answers ready before you get on the interview. Some people are naturally gifted and they don't need to prepare other, others of us aren't quite as gifted. So trying to get an idea of how you're going to answer some of these questions is a good idea. There's the rule of threes. If you can kind of make three different points, it sounds better in an interview. There's a lot of those type things. And then during coding, like type right reasonable speed, don't get nervous and use the hints given by the interviewer. Um, yeah, so there's, well, and there's some don'ts, you don't, you don't remain quiet the whole time, but you probably don't want to talk the whole time. So really good handy stuff. I'll leave a link for all these in the description below for, um, by the way, cracking the coding interview, they mentioned it. And uh, one really cool resource, this was actually the top of Reddit web dev last week, but it's kind of the big O complexity chart. And so kind of if, if you don't know anything about big O, this is kind of a cool way to get a visualization of what all this is. Um, so here's different elements and how the operations take. So you want basically something to be more closer to the bottom here. So if, you've, if it's big O of one, that's called constant time. 
So it's really quick algorithms can go can be that way. Um, if you're O log of n, that's logarithmic time. If you're O of n, that's linear time. And n log n more logarithmic, but it's a little slower. And then when you get here, these are usually uh, n squared. It's like quadratic time or exponential or factorial. These are really bad. So you don't want these are you see here red horrible. So you don't want anything over here. This is excellent and fair and good. And you can see how different data structures hold up. So there's the average and worst case scenarios between accessing and searching. So if you have array or stack your queue, like array is really fast to access. It's uh, it's a linear time to search and insertion and delete. It's really fast for constant time search. So here's like different ways you can structure your data. And you can look at the uh, sorting algorithms too, like usually the ones here in the green are, are, are fast. Um, the top ones, you can see this, you might have this counting sort, but the uh, worst case scenario is O of K, um, which is not as fast. On the other hand, we have this N log N, maybe just depends on the complexity, like merge sort's pretty good. So you, and you can also have links to the Wikipedias of all of them to get an idea. And this has cracking the coding interview, interview questions, some links to data structures, some books that you should check it out, and has some more graphs. So kind of neat website to give a little visualization on big O complexity and why you should know them. So that that's it. That's all what I want to show you guys. Uh, that's a lot of information here in 10 minutes. But I think if you are interested in getting one of these jobs that require this type of information, it there's just a lot of resources and I would check out these resources first. If you guys like this type of video, make sure you click that like button and click that subscribe button. That really helps me. Take care.